What's up, guys? This is Julia. It's been a long ass minute since I did an IGTV. Um, and I'll be entirely honest with you why. Uh, first of all, I moved, stressed, I've been really sick, slowly getting better, I've lost my voice several times, and I have trouble uh, presenting something to, to the internet world, to you guys, to wherever that doesn't feel like a complete or perfected thought. Sometimes it just doesn't feel worth sharing. I'm, I'm working on that. That's just my perfectionism talking. Um, and also, it's really weird to talk to a camera. Like, that's simply not my ministry. That's not my calling at this specific time. You know, like, when I'm coaching, when I'm teaching, I can see people's faces, right? I can see their reactions. I can see how they need to be spoken to. I know how to communicate with people when I can see them. But right now, I'm just talking to my iPhone 8. That's really fucking weird. So, uh, I do want to continue bringing quality content and, and feedback to you guys. And so, I'm thankful for your feedback for all my videos and... I'm going to keep keep pushing forward. Today I wanted to talk about quality and quantity and the misunderstanding surrounding that in sports science and training. First, maybe an example. Have you guys ever, I don't know if you're podcast people or book people or um, maybe TV series people, have you ever like watched a show on Netflix or whatever it may be and you have so many shows to get through, like you're going to binge that you completely forgot what half the episode was about or have you ever read a book and like forgotten what the last three pages said or listened to a podcast and you just zoned out somewhere else and f missed like 20 whole minutes and you're like, I'm not gonna rewind, I'm just gonna keep going. We do that a lot in training, okay? We, in training, have a lot of sessions, have a lot of exercises, have a lot of repetitions where we only get that 40% capacity of that 100% potential, right? Like we only get, we only reap 40% of the rewards or the benefits or the payouts of that workout or that movement or that session instead of 100%. That's a large amount to be missing. But what we tend to do is go into sessions without intention. We tend to go into sessions thinking that more is more instead of less is more and say, you know, I know that this says three by five. So three sets of five repetitions. I'm going to do 10, three sets of 10 or five sets of six or whatever it may be. I'm gonna change the rep pattern and not give quality to that three by five and then get the fuck out of here because that's what my plan says. That's a mistake. Let me tell you why. Because the foundation of sports science and of, of training science, Trainingswissenschaft, is to give you the smallest amount of stimulus possible in order to get an adaption, okay? So that's why we do intakes with athletes, that's why we do assessments, that's why we talk about goal setting. That's why, that's why programs at their very best, at their core, should be specific to each athlete. Like I've never given an at one athlete the same program that I've given to another athlete that works with me individually because that's impossible. Like they're both, they've got different bodies, the, they have different nervous systems, they have different goals, they have different needs, strengths, weaknesses, etc. And so in order to give them what they need, in order to get them to their goal, in order to get them their one step up to their, closer to their optimal performance, I need to give them a specific stimulus to get a specific uh, like reward, essentially you could say, or that adaption, so that they improve. It's very specific. It's not just going down and checking off a list, okay? If you have a coach, or if you're programming for yourself, it should be so specific that like, as long as you bring complete focus and attention and effort and intensity as it's prescribed to that workout, to that exercise, to that set, to that repetition, you will get 100% or closer to 100% of that potential out of that set, rep, uh, session, etc. as you will get more out of that as when you add more on top of that. So instead of doing, again, three by 10, do the three by five with your full intensity, get 100% out of that, which is gonna bring you more, instead of doing a three by 10, making yourself really, really tired so you feel like you got a big pump, you feel good, you feel tired, you're gonna be sore tomorrow, but you actually get less out of it because your nervous system is like, well, bro, I can't even adapt to that. You just broke me down and now you're not gonna rest. So like, we're actually taking steps backwards. So if nothing, I wanna say this. More is not more, less is more. We're very specific in what we give. That's why if you have ever seen a linear progression, 
or if you've ever looked very closely at your, your program, you probably see the reps slowly increasing, or you might see a change in reps and exercises and a change in intensity. We change things so that we can figure out exactly the right stimulus to give you and the right amount of that specific stimulus to give you in order to get the most out of you to get what we want so that you can then take that step up and we can do more, okay? It's not about we're gonna give you a whole bunch right at the beginning or you don't need to be doing a whole bunch right at the beginning because that won't speed up your progress. That will actually take you step backwards. So whether it's all the podcasts you're trying to listen to by the end of this weekend, all those books you're trying to get through, all of the, the shows you're trying to binge watch, all of the workouts that you've got to do before the end of the weekend, don't go into it thinking, I'm gonna try and get as much done as possible because it doesn't work that way. It usually winds up being shitty work. You don't understand what's going on. You missed half of the damn TV show and uh, you're exhausted. You've got uh, a good pump going on, but you didn't get nearly as much out of that workout as you could have. In fact, you took steps backwards. Instead, go into it thinking, I'm gonna get as much as I can out of this, even if it's one page of this book, even if it's one TV show, even if it's one podcast, even if it's this one workout, I'm gonna give it 100% effort. It's this one sprint session where it's five by 20 meters. I'm going to actually do that five by 20 meters with my maximum effort, the intensity that's prescribed, and all of the 90 of the seconds of rest that's prescribed to me, I'm gonna do exactly that with that quality, with that intention, instead of adding more quantity on top of it to mask the fact that I didn't bring intention and quality to my workout and to my movement. So, if nothing else, more is not more. Less is more, find exactly what you need, Give the proper dosage, okay? Do that with the intensity <laughs> in order to get the most potential out of whatever you're doing. Otherwise, you're just wasting your time. You're wasting yours, you're wasting mine, you're wasting your coaches, you're wasting your teammates. And uh, I promise you're going to perform better if you give 100% to the moment, to whatever you're doing, instead of thinking, how can I cheat this system? I promise it's gonna go better. Sport and life, they always go together. Have a great weekend.